So I'm starting a new challenge this month, and through that, I am completely changing my diet. Well, not changing my diet. I'm going back to my original like deficit tracking, but not obsessively tracking, just kind of like eating the same thing every day type of tracking. Really complicated, but essentially, each week I was gonna do a, show y'all one of the workouts I do in my program, and then also do what I eat in a day, because I eat the exact same thing every single day, but I was gonna change it each week. So I figured I would show all of you that for y'all. So this is what I eat in a day. We love that. We really love that for us. And then I think this week I'm gonna show, I think I'm gonna show a push day. Yeah, I think I'm gonna film a push day today, but for YouTube, I've never filmed a workout for YouTube before. Fingers crossed this goes well. <laughs> Stay tuned for a push day and then also a full what I eat in a day while on a deficit. rotate between like a protein shake or oatmeal for breakfast right now actually I decided to do a protein shake you guys have seen <laughs> that I put right before this and then now I'm about to make some oatmeal and it's so good and I usually have it with a LaCroix I'm addicted to LaCroix I don't care what anyone says sparkling water is phenomenal and I usually have like smaller meals in the morning so I can have a bigger dinner yeah so that's kind of it so far This is weird, I've never done a voiceover before, but I wanted to take y'all through different workouts in my split this month because I'm following a specific program. So we started with the push day. My absolute favorite thing to train is shoulders and chest and triceps. More specifically, shoulders and chest. We do love triceps, but I decided to start with a dumbbell bench because I did work out in my apartment gym, so I didn't have access to a free bench. Then immediately I went into a seated shoulder press. This is my absolute favorite thing in the entire world to burn out my shoulders. And I felt really good and died. <laughs> and then I went into this uh, specific exercise that I actually got from Whitney, um, dumbbell high pulls instead of upright rows. And before I was kind of like, I'm not sure about this. I'm addicted to them. They're so good. I definitely recommend giving them a try. And then I did go into face pulls. I recently learned that I've been doing face pulls the entire time wrong. So I did switch my grip and I'm pulling it more up versus straight back. And I really feel it in my rear delts. Please don't forget to train your rear delts. Immediately had to go into a quick little tricep exercise, rope push down, pull down, whatever you want to call it. I love burning out my triceps. So yeah.
minutes since we've chatted, um, but back to what I eat in a day. I just was at um, this like brewery, well technically it's a cidery, STEM Ciders in Denver, with some of my girly friends from work, and it was amazing. I had half of a mini flight and then a 10 ounce cider. So like add that into my what I eat in a day, I guess for today. I ate these Quest protein chips on the go. These are literally my new addiction. They sent me like this, let me show y'all actually. So many protein chips. I don't quite know what to do with it, but hands down my favorite is barbecue. I'm not kidding, close my eyes. Cannot taste the difference between barbecue chips and like these protein barbecue chips. So ate those and let me get the packs in them. 19 grams of protein for this pack and only 140 calories. That isn't my new thing. But now I'm gonna make some dinner really fast and then get ready for bed because I have to be up very, very early at like 6 a.m. what I eat in a day typically like I don't always add in the cider um, other than that like typical pretty what I eat in a day I did show like every single thing added in a few handfuls of skinny pop in there because that is my weakness at the moment well my weakness like that's considered somewhat healthy like calorie conscious uh, my weakness is instant mashed potatoes and that feels like really like on brand with this flannel from Zara super free people Hollister I don't know why I just gave you all that. I'm a big fan of this fit, huge fan of this fit. That's what I eat today. I'm gonna start doing these way more frequently and I did add in a push workout too. So that's kind of what I've got for y'all today. My cat is killing me right now, but yeah. Um, I will chat with y'all next time. Hopefully I will get way better at the YouTube gang, but you can find me on Instagram at Haley underscore Jordan underscore fit. Everything will be done in the description box below, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know if y'all want to see anything else. Make sure to like thumbs up the video, all that jazz. I don't know how this YouTube thing works, but um, I hope y'all have a great day, night, whenever y'all are watching this, and I will see y'all next time. Okay.